Hi everyone. Hi, my name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And we are from Matusu Crafts. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I'm, the reason Jay's laughing at me is that I just done something. I, I, I rehearsed that before we come on and Marius. I did it really, really flamboyantly and <laughs> silly. And he dared me to do it and I won't do it because it was silly. So, um, yes. Oh, oh. You should. Hi Wendy. Hi. So, um, yeah, no, it's not happening. Okay. No, it's not happening at all. So good. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, yes, we are your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators here in the UK. Um, also available in France, Germany, Netherlands and the Austria. And the Austria. And the Austria, yes. yes. Um, and Austria. So, any of the products and which... And I said Netherlands, oh, didn't did I? You? I, I can't know. remember. So... <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Um, so yes, so if you see any of the products which you see us using tonight, you are able to purchase from us. So um, yeah, if you live in any of those countries which we mentioned, then um, please head over to our online shop and um, you can purchase from there. If you do purchase with us online, please remember to use the um, current host code, which can be found on our website as well. Um, that will then we'll be able to accumulate all of the orders together and we'll be able to give you something back um at the end of the month a little a little taster of something some little samples uh, could be some gems could be some ribbon who knows what it could be so if you do shop with us then please use that code as well current code is always on our website so depending on when you're watching this it will change each month so good cool. so what do you want to add Nothing really. Nothing really. Okay. So tonight we are going to be using the beautiful Playful Penguins. That's what we're going to be using tonight. Um, so I used it on Sunday evening to make to make this wiper card. Wow. Rude. <laughs> I love it. So that's what I did on it's Sunday. Amazing. It needs tweaking. I'm not 100% happy with it. I need to... Um, no, it's lovely. I need to do something different with it. And Jay's laughter tells me that he doesn't like it either. No, <laughs> Pop. Pop! So yes, that's what, I, that's what I made. Um, you can just sit there for ages going like that. Wee, 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 wee. Yes. Anyway. We'll yeah, I just got this set. Looking forward to seeing what you make. Yes, cool. thank you. So, yes, yeah, so that was what we made on Sunday. We've made, um, previously, we've made that one there, which is really simple, with a little bit of sponging down, the, masking and sponging down the sides, keeping it keeping it really simple there, and a little bit of sequins um, on there. Another really, really simple one. So keeping it um, just stamping on. Are you biting me? I'm not, not Jay. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Jay's got I Tommy on. Tommy. Jay's got Tommy on his lap, yeah. and he's got a tendency to. Um, he's got a tendency to nibble at you when he's um, wanting some attention. So I felt a nibble. So it's not Jay biting me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Tommy biting me. There's another one there. So using the snow front um, trees here and the new decorative masks, just to add a little bit of texture in there. So that's another one we've done, and. Um, these aren't snow. These aren't the penguins, but here's some other stuff which we've blogged this week, which you can have a little look at. So this is the Booty You stamp set, isn't it? And mm. um, oh, what's the sentiment? Family party. Family party. Party. Which is that one there for the sentiment? And that's using the pigment sprinkles on the background, but it's actually on. It's the leftover residue part, which is I mop up with the tissue paper. Kitchen towel. Kitchen towel. So, kitchen roll, whatever you want to call which it. Which you'll be using today. Which I'll be using today, actually. So I actually preferred the mop-up on the um, on the clean-up when I did the actual bit. So I decided to use it on that yes. one there. To take off the excess. To of take off the excess. Rolls you'll the see kitchen. how I do it tonight, because I'm actually going to be using some of the sprinkles this evening. And... Um, I'll show you my technique, how I do that as well. And Jay's done this one here, which is another one using the Booty You as well. Hi, Lisa. And another one using the de new decorative stencils here. And cut, circling round, you can just see... Oh, we've actually got, oh, you've got gems yes. in there as well. So you've got the rhinestones, you've got some of the pearls in there as well. And I just used the black, basic black stamping blends to add dots onto the gems. And in the, in the dotted areas as well to create eyes. 
I thought it was quite yeah, funny. It's cool. It looks good. I haven't picked up on that actually. It's quite creepy. Yes. Just a little creepy. Yes, lovely. So that's what we're going to be using. Well, we're not going to be using the boot to you. We're going to be using the penguins yeah. this evening. So you can find the penguins in the new autumn winter catalogue on page. I should have found it out before I um, before I went live, shouldn't I? Rather than trawling through the catalogue for penguins. Um, da 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 da. Talk amongst yourself, please. I think we've gone past. Have I gone past penguins? Yes. It's quite early on with the. Uh, it's with the el elfie. The selfie elfie, whatever yeah. they are. Hashtag Elfie, there we go. Page 20. Page 23 um, in the new autumn winter catalogue. Sorry, I punched you out of the way there. Um, <laughs> so that's where you can find them. Um, I would also be using some watercolour cardstock today, um, which you can find watercolour cardstock um, is on page. Where is it, Jane? I, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I should have. I should have. The annual catalogue. It's in the annual catalogue. Um, with other paper. Yeah, with other papers. Um, I will find it for you. I'm going to find it. The fluid 100 watercolour paper on page 169 in the annual catalogue. So that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be using some watercolour paper tonight um, with some sprinkles and um, Knight of Navy cardstock. Cool. cool, lovely. Right. So, um, yeah, so please hop on. Um, say hi. Say hi, let us know where you're from. If you're new to us, um, yes, we'd love to see and hear what you're doing. And any questions, um, please pop on and say something. Okay, and we'll do our best. Hopefully me or Jay will pick up the comments as we're going along. That's so, if I'm not prepping. That's if he's not prepping. As usual, Jay is still prepping his car. I got home from work. My and then sat hurting. down instantly and played your game. Yeah, my back is hurting. What so else? I was playing my game. Yeah. Joy, all right, so let's turn the camera around oh. and let's start crafting. Tookie, what are you doing? So. All right, so here we go. Playful penguins. Let's get this light sorted out there. Cool. All right, so I think we can see quite nicely. Okay, so I am going to be um, using, as I mentioned beforehand, so I'm going to be using a, making an A6 card. So you're going to want to do your normal card base here. So we do it obviously here in the UK is 21 centimetres by, and we, we cut ours at 14 and a half centimetres and then score it down the middle here at 10 and a half centimetres. That will give you your card base. Okay. And then just fold and burnish. And I need to need a uh, bone folder eventually, Jay, sorry. Should be, behind. Should be behind over there. No, it's not there. Oh, it's, it's, not, it's, look, behind. it's behind you, it's not behind. in front of you. <laughs> That's it. There we go. So I'm just going to fold it over like so just to, I'm just going to do that again actually, just to give myself a better crease. That's better. All right, so we pop that to one side. I am also going to, I'm going to stamp my penguin first and I'm going to cut my penguin out. Okay, so I've chosen this penguin here. And I'm going to stamp this in memento. Now, the good thing with this stamp set is that you don't really need to do any colouring with this at all. You can just leave them black and white. So on some white, wistful white cardstock, black memento ink, and stamp. And that's all you really need, really. You don't need to do much with it. Can I have a stamp and scrub, please, Joe? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp and scrub because last time I did this at the weekend I peeled it off while without cleaning it. I got all dirt on my fingers and then I picked up white card and then I smudged it. Yeah. So. Right. So if you haven't got one of these, you've got the stamp and scrub. So you've got this. You put a little bit of if we had any in it, a little bit of spray in there. So some stamping mist. 
we clean it one side and we dry it the other and we've now got a nice clean stamp okay so I am going to also whilst I'm here um, let's have a little look I might just see what it looks like if I stamp this in black but I may want to I don't know if I'm using these yet we'll see um, Jay, could you get me some red ink please red ink pad real red yeah let's see what this is gonna use a real red so I, I don't know if I'm gonna use these but I'm gonna stamp them anyway and we'll see what they look like if we like them then I can use them if I don't I won't use them so I'm gonna stamp the scarf in some red I'm also gonna stamp me hat as well so we will come back to those two good cover up and it's on the side. Let's just clean up these before I go and put my fingers in them again. So clean one side, dry the other side. There we go. So that's that. Um, the sentiment I've decided to use as well tonight is going to be may your New Year's dreams come true. So, uh, But you do have some other nice little sentiments on here. Nothing warms the heart quite like a good friend. Merriest wishes. You're so cool. Always by your side, which I think is some really nice little sentiments on there. But I've decided to use um, this one here. Always by your side is quite a nice one. You can, obviously you can do these. Plus you cut them out and you can have the two start side, side by side. And that's a nice little, nice little touch. So good. All right. So let's um, let's fussy cut me my penguin out. And they are nice and easy to cut out. I don't. I. I really don't like fussy cutting, but these ones are actually a really nice, easy design. They're not too intricate. Hi, Sandra. Yeah, as I was saying, they're quite easy to cut out, not too intricate, as I was saying. Um, easy lines to follow. I'm not going up close to the, um, I'm not cutting along the black edge. I'm leaving myself like a little white border. So I'm not making it too complicated for myself, just keeping it nice and simple. And as on Sunday, let's go round his delicate parts. Concentration. There we go. So there is my penguin. All right. So I'm just going to cut these out and let's see what they look like. Um, because it's one of the good things with this stamp set is that you do have these cute little bits which you can you can layer up and you can do some stuff. You can do some fun stuff with it. So we'll cut them out and we'll see what it looks like. If it looks good, we'll use them. If it doesn't, I won't. I'm trying to go closer to the um, closer to the line on this one, so I'm still leaving a little bit of a white line edge, but I'm trying to get it a little bit of a closer cut because I don't want the white light. I don't want too much white to obstruct the um, 
the penguin, so I'm trying to get as close as I can. There we go, I think that's quite a nice close cut actually. So there's my, there's my, my scarf, and I'm going to cut out the hat as well, I'll try and do the same, keep it nice and close. I'm going very carefully around his ball, the brand of ball ball on the hats. Why are you giggling, Jay? Because I nearly cut myself. Yeah, right. Let's just go in here. And so I want to be careful. I don't want to take too much off here because I don't want the. I don't want. I'm be careful what I say here. I don't want to chop the ball ball off. There we go. So there's me, um, my hat. Okay. So he may look quite cute if we were to put a little red scarf on him. And if we were to give him a, give him a little, give him a little Santa hat as well. So we'll see. I think he looks quite cute there. All right. Probably quite good for, um, I'm, I'm, we're not football people at all. But I, you, you could probably decorate this up for make this a man, male card. And colour the, the, the scarf in whatever football or sport colours um, somebody supports and then you could probably make this a, a general all round thing as well because scarves are quite popular in sport aren't they um, you can tell I'm really sporty um, <laughs> I think sport scarves are popular um, <laughs> So oh, it's a good little idea, I think. So whatever colour, I'm not going to say any colours because I'm not going to. I'm not going to get into. I'm not going to offend anyone by not mentioning anyone's teams because you or. Don't know any. And I don't know any teams. <laughs> so, but kind of like in someone's colour of sport, whatever it is. And um, Jay's laughing at me because I've got no idea what I'm talking about now. I've gone into sport. Give me cakes. I'll probably be all right. Cool. Right, lovely. All right, let's put those to one side for a moment. So that's all of the, the fussy cutting and my penguins done. So I've got myself some watercolour card here. I'm going to just take myself some kitchen roll just to put down because I don't want to get the um, I don't want to get the piece of paper wet for Jay. So I'm just going to put this down here. So have you have yourself some kitchen roll handy. Have yourself um, um have yourself a um liquid pen somewhere, but I've lost it. Was I in the process of tidying up yeah, or feed? No, I've got the I want the big brush. Have I left it in the bathroom to fill up? Did I get sidetracked with the cats? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I did. Cats have been very needy tonight and I've got sidetracked, so I'm not filling it up and above. So you need yourself an aqua painter, okay, and you'll need yourself some of the sprinkles. So I the sprinkles are I'll try and find them for you in the catalogue. They are in the annual catalogue, aren't they, Joe? The pigment sprinkles. Let's have a little look. We can find them in here. I've probably just gone past them. Oh, there they are. Pigment sprinkles on page 179. So you can use them in there. Okay, so you can get some colours. So I'm using a, I'm using another, I'm using another variation of them. Okay, so um, colours will vary to what the pigment sprinkles are in the catalogue. Um, but what I would suggest you do is take a bit of cardstock, take it, make it bigger than you actually need. I found because I struggle with um, 
with doing this type of technique we're trying to get it looking even or looking natural or consistent i don't um so what i found is if you do it slightly bigger than you need and then trim it down and then it looks like you've got a whole piece which looks fine so you're going to grab yourself your aqua painter and i literally just want to squeeze the water on this and i'm just going to cover this whole whole piece with water Obviously, and the reason you need some watercolor cardstock is because if you use it, it obviously is designed for water. Um, if you use normal whisper white, then it, the water will just get sucked straight up into it. So I'm going to take my um, sprinkles, and I'm just going to. So this is the same technique as you would use with the pigment sprinkles, which are in the catalog. Okay, I'm just doing that. Now, I found, don't don't overwork this now, okay? Just leave it as it is. Grab your kitchen roll, and you just literally want to roll it. Okay. That will then take up the excess water. It will leave a interesting pattern on there and it will also transfer the pattern over to your kitchen roll so if you were like me with that card which i showed you with the boo to you um this <laughs> this type of thing on the kitchen roll is what that is made of okay so and obviously so if depending on what kitchen roll you use you can use um you get different patterns in it so you could just leave that out let that dry and then you could die cut that, you could do anything with that. Um, so yeah, that's how I would recommend you do that, okay? That also dries it a bit quicker as well. So what I need to do is I just need to give this a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a dry up. So what I've got is I have got my, um, I've got my heat tool. So I'm just gonna give this a quick heat just to dry up for you. Okay, I've seen that normally you could probably leave that dry on its own. Um, obviously, if you need to craft it quickly, heat tool it. Okay, so now that that's, that's dry, obviously, because I want to cut this down now, because I've done it bigger than I needed, and I'm going to cut it down. So I want to cut this down to, here's one I did earlier on, okay. I want to cut this down to, it's about nine and a half centimetres by 13 and a half centimetres. So I'm going to grab a trimmer. I'm not going to bring it on the counter. I'm just going to take this off. So nine and a half. And that sat down like so. So I've got rid of all of the messy bits on the side, which don't look quite right. Okay, and I've cut that down to size. Let's just give that a bit of a. Just needs manipulating a little bit as well. Okay. So it takes that away now. They can all go in the bin or whatever you want to do them or save them for something else. Jay will probably save them. I would chuck them. So you can see, depending on how you dry it, how you smush the ink around, if I'd done this with it whilst it was wet, I would have got maybe a bit more of a different wash. I've gone here. I suppose what you could do, um, do I dare do this? Oh, are you shaking your head? I, I I want to move this ink around a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just get it wet again. 
and I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna then move this water around just to give it a bit more I want to just soften some of those a little bit but I'm just gonna move the Oh, I've done it on a bit which I didn't want to get wet for you. Yeah. Never mind. That's it. So we grab the kitchen roll again. That's it. Okay, that's a bit better actually. It just just gives it a different wash as well. You can see that it's washed rather than dry, so it gives you a different bit of a pattern on there. All right. So I just need to just give that another bit of a another bit of a dry up. There you go. manipulate that into place a little bit there we go i'm a bit happy with that now it didn't look now i've smudged it in a little bit it goes but the more water and you can then just manipulate it round and it runs off obviously and then as the water buckles up as the paper buckles up like that it rolls to the side you can do whatever you need but obviously you can see every time you do it you will get a completely different way of doing it this is obviously one where I've done it and I've been a little bit more controlled and done that and so on you'll get a different wash every single time I prefer it when I've done the whole piece and then chopped it down to size rather than having the white border around the outside um, this one's not too bad um, I didn't manipulate it too much I did it manipulated it a little bit and then rolled the tissue paper over same with those ones I think when you manipulate it too much it starts to become a little bit um, artificial you want it to be a bit more natural so it looks too artificial it looks like it's been it it has been moved whereas this looks more natural i hope that makes sense so you've got lots of different ones and you can see everyone is completely different so i'm going to go with the one which i've just done for you so i've got the card stock has already been cut down to size so i'm using knight of navy card stock as well so that has been measured at half a centimeter bigger than the bit i've trimmed down so that is measuring at 10 centimeters by 14 centimeters so i always go half a centimeter bigger for the layer which then will give you a nice border okay so i'll start sticking that down now And probably maybe whilst that's what you may want to do as well is another thing obviously if you have time is to maybe if you especially if you're working with something which has been wet it's buckled so you may want to stick it down and then maybe just shut it in a book something heavy for um for half an hour or something just so that it it, it might just flatten it out just a, a fraction Yeah, you, you haven't missed much, Mum, so... Oh, I don't know when you come on, actually. I didn't see you pop on, but you you haven't missed much. I've, this is all I've done so far. So, um, yeah. But that's actually not too bad. That's that's actually stayed relatively, relatively flat. And once I get that on a card base again as well, that will be fine. So there we go. So I've got another piece here. So another bit of paper which has been cut to the width. So which has been cut to, what did I say that was as well? That would be nine and a half, nine and a half centimetres. So that's going to go there and a piece of, um, by two centimetres in, in width. Another bit of Knight of Navy as well, which is the same width. So nine and a half by one inch. So two and a half centimetres. And then that's going to give me a border there as well which will roughly match the 
border on that. So what I'm going to do is before I stick it down, I am going to stamp my sentiments. Did you move the black ink away from me, Jay? Oh, yes, I did. You got it. I have got it. <laughs> so may your New Year's dreams come true. So this is one for after Christmas. I'm going to have to stand up for this one because I need to get this straight. Um. There we go. So that's on there. You may want to start off with a bigger piece and then maybe then stamp and then cut down. Um, so you, you may want to do that. That will, um, that might be a bit easier for you to cut. Hi Pete. <laughs> so that's good. So that's that one. And then we are going to stick this to the Knight of Navy cardstock. There we go. Nice. So, and that's gonna stick on, we're gonna stick that to the, to the layer here. So a bit of glue on the back of this. So that's gonna go down there. And then what we do is we bring our penguin back in. Now I've lost his scarf. After all that fussy cutting, I've lost his scarf. And it's a lot. Find a scarf for me, Joe. It was on top of that thing. Did you bring it? It's probably fallen in the bin. I've lost my scarf. Oh dear. Has it fallen on top of the bin? Because it's so small, it's probably going to be right and truly, well and truly in there. That's fine. I will, um, maybe we'll just have a hat. And all I, <laughs> all I was going to do is that. In, um, yeah. I'm going to take the scarf off there. I'm just going to stamp a little bit of ground. I'm going to stamp off first. I'm going to stamp off twice. I'm going to go third generation and I'm just going to just give a little bit. I'm just going to ground him down there. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Oh, have we got any mini dimensionals, Joe? So. I know some mini they've been put in the wrong packet. Well, they've been mixed up in the wrong packet. That's fine. There we go. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Put a bit on his feet down there. That's good. And just one in the middle. Shh. <laughs> 
There we go, some sun dimensionals right there. Pop them on that little bit of grounding, which we have done like that. You could have two in there if you really wanted to. You could probably have another one, another one like that. May look quite nice if you did another positioning. Um, positioned it slightly different, and that's when that sentiment always by your side may come in handy as well. But I'm just going to go with a one. Oh, I've lost his hat as well. There we go. I'm not doing too well tonight, am I? I'm just going to pop a little bit. I'm going to pop a dimensional on the hat. Go. We can have a you can have a Santa hat. So that there is me done. I didn't give you a warning, Joe. Sorry. No. <laughs> oh, I've got to stick it onto the card base. Okay. So um, so yeah. I don't know if I like it on a dimensional. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to take the dimensional. Do you want some snowflakes? Some snowflakes. anything I need to okay no I'm gonna stick the hat down flat tiny bit of glue and that That's Joe making all the racket in the background, so um, sorry if that's coming over very loud. <laughs> there we go. I'm happier with that. So what I want to do now is I want to grab my card base, which I've also lost that as well. There it is. Oh, dear, oh dear. I think I need a drink. And... I cut you some snowflakes. See if you like it. Ew. What are they? These are from Colorful Seasons, aren't they? No? Yeah. Uh, the, the coordinating dice, which is uh, seasonal layers. Seasonal layers, that's it. There we go. Um, Joe's given me some snowflakes. Oh, see, now this is where I go wrong. I never know. I just, uh, this, I can't. I was looking for glimmer, but I couldn't find one. Glimmer will be over here. Oh, okay, this one. I put glimmer in the Christmas pile. Have it separated. There you go. There? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so these are snowflakes from the. Um, seasonal layers which i think is a really good little stamp set or die set actually it's for um, all seasons. well yeah because it is for all seasons it's got it's got all sorts in it we should really use the leaves we should for your autumn yeah. autumnal so yeah so it's this one here so you've got all sorts now you've got your branches you've got your leaves so you can do that for summer autumn spring depending on what colors you've got your deck chair for your um summer you can i've made a nice spring card with this one here with the coordinating stamp set as well so it's really it's, it's quite a nice stamp set to use it's, it's good for it. it's Dye. good general dies sorry it's good general all-rounder and even better when you coordinate it with the stamp set what about the snow the sequins which uh um, the it's next to you here. Oh, I'm like going a bit too over to OTT now. Do you need pinted glue? Nice. 
So, I've not used these yet. Oh, that's scary. So, uh, right, Trey, help. Just put it in the middle. Do you think? It's a fine tip glue pen. Which isn't really a pen. <laughs> it's just a me. Yeah, a um, bit of glue in the middle of these. And because it's a fine tip, because it's got a fine tip on it, it's easier to, um, to direct where you want. And do and a little tip here. So if you're new to these, there's a pin in the middle as well, which is to go inside the actual nozzle here so it keeps it, um, doesn't dry up. So be careful, don't just pop it on there and do it. I've known people to, to do that and then screw the pin up. So you need to feed the pin into the nozzle and then bring it down and then screw it up, okay? So just be careful with that. And take your picky uppy tool. What is it? Picky uppy tool, take your pick. <laughs> Shush, yeah. No. Some of them are really several glued together, isn't there? I don't think that one's going to stick. Do the sequins, like the silver one, so it stands out. Yeah. God, can you hear the con feel the concentration, the tension going on here? And there's a cat to break that tension. <laughs> What's it? What is it, Mimi? She thought it was too quiet, so she was going to meow. See, this is why I don't work with small bits, because it's hard work. I was surprised when you said it. <laughs> okay. I feel it needs some other, some elsewhere, though. Keep it set, or am I going a bit OTT now? Do you reckon? No, the more the merrier. <laughs> Is that about right? Yeah. Cool. All right, and so I've got them in position. Fine tip glue pen again here, so I'm just going to put a, a dot roughly where they are. Or can you just put it in the middle because it's got a hole in? Um. It probably would have done, but that's fine. Yeah, it's just to give that extra support, isn't it? There we go. All right. I think I'm finished now. Nice. So. And feed that into that hole. There we go. Perfect. All right. Pop your lid on your sequins before you do anything else. Otherwise, you'll regret it afterwards. <laughs> There we go. So that's using a few items there. So you've got the snowflake sequins. This is from the, um, with the snow globes. So the still scenes um, area, isn't it, Jay? From the catalogue, if I remember correctly. Um, so adds another little bit of an element to your card there. Um, you have also got the snowflakes from the seasonal layers as well. So that's another added extra, but you can see you don't necessarily need it. Um, but if I bring that up, you can just see them. Oh, not a dimensional there. There we go. Just adds a little bit of bling. 
their little bit of shine just takes it away and there we go. I think that's a cute little Christmas card. You have the penguins, yeah. Hi Danielle, yeah, the penguins, they are cute, aren't they? So, and there's quite a few, you see you've got a few different options in there as well. Now, I did have a scarf, but it might have been over, overkill if I'd done a scarf, all right? And there's another one, you can go for another card. So there we go, that there is using um, a variation of the um, pigment sprinkles, which are available, and the Playful Penguins stamp set. And there we go. Hope you like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass over to Jay now. And he is going to do his version um, of something. A box. Yeah. I don't know what he's making, but he's also using the Playful Penguins. So there we go. I'm going to hand over to Jay and he will do his. Thank you for watching. Don't go. Don't go, don't go anywhere. Stay. Right. Bear with. Uh -huh. Oh. oh, we've lost a seat. Cats. Hi. Right, so I'm just setting up. I'm actually going to do a coordinating 3D item. Um, so. As you do. As you do. So I'm using the Simply Scored in inches just because the card base that I'm starting with is a note card size, which is. Where's my note? <laughs> Seven by five. Seven by five, yes. And I pre scored and I pre cut one card as well. But I'm gonna start with the Whisper White. But as I said, um, it the measurement corresponds with note cards as well. And where's it? So on the long, long side. What did they do? There. Okay. So on the long side, score at two and a half, three and a quarter, five and three quarters, and six and a half. Turn 90 degrees clockwise, score at a quarter, one inch, four inch, and four and three quarters. I did try and convert it to metric but because the metric insert is like in 0.5s i couldn't so i'm just gonna keep it to inches sorry uh, <laughs> so once that's done uh you can burnish the fold but if you have both plates and it's not an issue yes so, so you'll need the out. simply scored anyway okay. um, so burnish the folds and once that's burnished, you will cut off these, <laughs> if you can see. So you basically gonna cut off that, 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 taper that in, cut that off, and then that is cut off as well. So it mirrors on the other side. Yeah, that's it. And that one, that one, that one, and taper that off. And as I said earlier, it coincides with note card, which is, I don't know where I put mine. I haven't touched anything. Where did it go? What are you after? I break up a note card. Is it better if you buried it behind the scoreboard? Probably. We're not doing too well tonight, are we? Sorry. I was, I thought I was so, oh, there, it's there. There we go. So this is currently on the clearance rack in the UK and EU, I believe. And this is the, um, the note cards that Barry used. So if you have any other note cards, it should correspond to that. And you'll be left, once those are cut up, you'll be left with this. So it does, um, you can see that the middle part of the note card is there, but um, don't burnish that fold. And I'm just gonna continue with this. Minnie, come on, I need a seat. 
So I oh I forgot I also scored at two and a half. I'll show you quickly. So on here I've just scored down two and a half, like halfway down there because I'm just gonna create a hole to feed my ribbon as well as on the other side as well, two and a half and then I've kinda like half an inch there. So with that you'll need your pick tool and What's this called? Um, stamping mat. Stamping pierce mat, isn't it? Stamping pierce mat. So I'm gonna use the um, piercer, I guess. <laughs> and I'm just gonna make a hole. If you do have like crocodile hole punch or hole puncher, you can use that, but it's quite further up. So I'm just making a hole. So yeah, stamping pierce mat. Stamping Page Pierce Mark. out of the annual catalogue. And before I continue, so Barry showed you uh, the seasonal layers. I'm actually going to use the coordin co uh, coordinating stamps, which is the colorful seasons, and I'm going to use the snowflakes on that. With So I've just put it on the block with pool party. There is another, um, there's loads of snowflakes stamps, but we do have another one. But I thought I'll use something from the annual catalog, but there's another one here and the, with the frosted foliage as well. So that's quite nice as well. Can you just double check like the Whisper White note card is 7 by 5 please? 7 by 5 inches? Yeah. What, is it? Without, the, without being folded? Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna stamp on here. How? Like there. Yeah. Stamp off. And then I'll just do another one. So you mean the full version of it? Yeah. So because I stamped off, you can just about see the second generation so it's really light yeah exactly like is that. it so if you do have note cards and you don't want to cut into your with i don't know colored card stop you can use your normal note cards um so that is pretty much it oh i didn't taper that one thank you Just make sure that you keep this side straight and that side straight because that's that will be your guide to make sure that it folds um, straight. So I'll just do the side there and the side here. Okay, I'm just gonna get glue. Do I need another stamping? Actually, I'm gonna keep this flat. Do you want? I've got yeah. stuff. And that one. So you can either have a pre. I stamped this in Memento on normal Whisper White. So you can either have that and just have it like there, or if you don't like fussy cutting, this is a two inch punch and you can have that there. I'm actually forgot the sentiment. So let's see what will fit. Hopefully Mary's wishes. <laughs> it will fit. I will make it fit. Right. Just do that in. Uh, let's keep it simple. We'll do memento again. And 
And at the end, I'll show you what fits in this box. Luckily, it fit. <laughs> go lid so you've seen barrel stamp it so I'm not gonna I thought I'll just save some a bit of time and I probably yeah that's not gonna fit there so I'm just gonna use that there so if I it's chopped off his delicate bits well the feet <laughs> I don't mind fussy cutting, but I thought, well, if I if I have the feet, that was a bit long winded, then, so I'm gonna cut that. So off. chop your remember you can chop your stamps, your stamps as well. You don't have to use the whole thing. Don't cut your stamps. Well, not your stamps. You know what I mean. Your stamped images. Well, you can. Yeah, you can cut photopolymer, I guess, stamps, but yeah, well. I've never done it. I'd rather um, mask than cut. go are we gonna be mean I'm gonna cut his mm. fins you can have it have it have it overhang if you want uh, so for the ribbon I'm gonna actually use the metallic ribbon from the feels like frost suite and I've cut it six inches and I'm gonna feed that through there after I construct the card, uh, the box. So you're just gonna be adding glue onto the tabs and then using that straight edge to guide your construction. And what I tend to do is I, like in, hi Carol. I actually pick a bit of uh, glue onto from the tab to then kind of like have that side a bit of uh, to give that side a bit of glue and then that just gets flushed onto the other side. And then this side do the same. Betty sends it to his mom, Pete says. And who else? There we go. So that's one side down. And then the next one is on here. Can you cut up that, uh, that one for me, please? What? Take off everything which you yeah. have marked off, yeah? Yeah. Do you trust me to do it? So, along the score lines, yeah? Yeah. You can burnish it first if you want. <laughs> I'm just getting Barry to cut the other um, cardstock that I scored. Right, so that's done. And that's done. So it's quite nice having um, the pre-washed uh, card. But obviously if you don't have this um, note card, you can use what Paris done and uh, maybe do another layer uh, with the pigment sprinkles. Uh, because I wouldn't suggest to actually color your your note card because that's the um, it might make weaken it too much with the water, but you could always just do a a layer of uh, pigment sprinkle background and then pop up the um, penguin on top. Okay, so we have. Did you take my pick tool? No. <laughs> Like me, <laughs> as so I'm just making sure that the hole is there and there. And I'm literally just gonna feed this in and make a knot.
I was being stingy, so I pre-cut my ribbons. Uh, <coughs> but if you want longer ribbon, you could always don't pre-cut it. Do you want me to fold and burn the shoulder of this as well? Yes, please. And then do the same for here. You can talk. You asked me to get this, get that. Remember me? <laughs> I'm just getting my own back. Yeah, I'm just getting back to do the other one because I I can quickly show you how to do a different version, I guess. Of one layer one, if you if you just want to use. If you just want to use, what's it called? Whisper white even. So that's going to be like that. And before I finish that off, I'll show you what fits in there. Barry, did you eat them? <laughs> Rude. Well, if you leave food around long enough, I will eat it. Oh, where did they go? I don't know. They're in the box already. Oh, yes. Oh, stupid. <laughs> this was my prototype. Uh, so it fits three Kinder um, chocolate bars. Oh, I was going to put a sentiment up there. Never mind. We can do that on the next one. So this fits three Kinder eggs. Kinder eggs, Kinder bars. Just a small treat, and then you can just make a bow. If I can remember how to tie a bow. <laughs> right. no. If you do it, I tend to go that way, like down, up. And then underneath, but then that tends to make my bow upside down. So if you do it up, down, if that makes sense, and then through the loop, and then he says that should be the right way up. Ta da! It worked. If you don't want to make a bow you, and you have magnets as well, you could always use magnets and omit the um, the piercing of the card. Okay, I've got this way too short. It's fine. Ta-da! That's fine. Okay, I'm going to keep it like that because... I'm going to be here all night. So that's one. So Barris already pre-cut that one. And if I just do the same. So if we put a sentiment on there. You're so cool. Many, many. Yeah, you're so cool. Did you use that one? No. There. So that one can be ha um, like that and you can have it like that. So if you just do it the other way and you, you can actually, you can, if you pierce up there and you can have it hanging. What's a tree decoration? As a tree decoration. Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? Actually, if you have it there. You can make your own tree decoration yeah. with your own boxes. Tree decoration and then... So if I just stamp upside down with this one. So I'm just going to do the same stamping. Cut hairs everywhere. And that'll be at the bottom anyway. And then the 
snowflakes in pool party. So what I've done is obviously first generation. I, uh, I didn't want to do a second generation right away because it didn't touch any of um, of the edges, like the stamp design didn't touch any of the paper. So what would have happened is I would have had a stronger line where it didn't touch the paper. So I'm I'm just gonna ink it up again and then stamp off and then stamp on. I hope that makes sense. So what would have happened is like some of that would have been much darker because it didn't touch any of the edges. Okay, um, I've already done it. Okay, if I do it in here, so if I stamp off the edge and then second generation there, you can see that that's so much darker than the second generation. That's just a hint on there. Uh, might as well do the rest on the side okay and so if that's gonna be like that okay so if that's gonna be upside down uh, I can still stamp something there So we'll put some some more snowflakes. I do love snowflakes. There we go. So yeah, just by changing the way you stamp, um, you can change the look of your box. Uh, and I'm just gonna finish this off like so and then that's gonna go like that and then you can have a bow there and then a nut if you actually I'll just I'll show I'll show so I did have a thing there And where did it go? I'll do it this way. I can see there. And then if you have another two, and if you have a loop there, yeah, no, I'll do it too. <laughs> So we have a cut. You just need a tiny one on there, like so. Is it too small? Gonna be too small, isn't it? Have we been too stingy again? Well, I had off cuts. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just use the off cuts. It'll be fine. Should we all make it work? Yeah, it's fine.
this game? <laughs> no, it's too small. I'm sure I'll use that off cut somewhere. But yes, yeah, so um, you can use this as uh, to hang on the Christmas tree and you can even personalize it. Uh, we've recently got the family party, as Barry said earlier, uh, stamp set. So you have um, mother, father, son, daughter, and things like that. Let's see, so... I'll use another one. I can't find the other one. I was only planning on doing two, uh, doing one even, but I thought whilst I was doing it, oh, I'll show you how you can change it slightly. Um, and you can do it as well. So that can hang, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, put the cream. Or uh, have a white one so then it won't clash with the bow. Perhaps. Um, do we have white twine? <laughs> because. Yeah, that's fine. I just thought oh, um, it might, because if I'm gonna make the bow with this, it would just. Ooh, what's that one? <laughs> we have some like ribbons that we don't know where it's from. It looks like satin, not satin, um, gro I don't know what it's called. <laughs> What's it called? Silk. No. Right, that's done. No, I don't even think it's a current ribbon, so I saw already taken it away. <laughs> One. I just want that. I'm just gonna push that in. So if you do have a hole punch, it would be uh, much cleaner. Uh, but I thought I'll <coughs> show you how to use your pick tool. How is everyone? Everyone's still here? <laughs> We've been on an hour and 15. Okay. Nearly done. I'm on the table, Tommy. Nope. Okay, and then I'll just glue this. Glue this on. Is he giving you kisses? Yeah, I'm getting him kisses. One down. I 
after all that, I forgot to, um, add my twine. I will add it. Right, once well, that's drying. Okay. It might get a bit chaotic here in a moment. We've had a bloody long red come in. Oh, great. <laughs> and the cats have seen it. Okay. easier there we go so that can hang and then that can make a bow oh that would be Tommy trying to get the daddy long legs <laughs> did he get it So up, down, loop, up, if I can find it. Yep. Ta da! Pretty. Just cut that off. So is that now into a tree decoration? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether or not anyone does it, but I know it was sometimes we do special tree decorations. So if it's got like a little special present in it and it's given out at the end, um, it's always quite, this might be quite a nice little way sometimes of actually just, um, presenting something special but actually have it hanging on a tree as a different present so people may not recognize it and that's quite cool i'm quite happy with those yeah and that's using pretty. note cards as a box lovely cool and i'm saying these are these are currently on the clearance rack yeah there are note cards. The note cards so um grab yourself a bargain if you're interested in that there we go so cool. So there's Jay's um, Jay's two boxes and and card. Okay. So that's using the playful penguins. You right? Yeah. Where you to? I don't know. Are you gonna sit down? No. Okay. I'll sit down then. My yeah. back's hurting. Your back's hurting. Um. So yes. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Um. Anything you want to add? No. Nope. Um, yes. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, join us on Sunday on YouTube, on our YouTube channel for our Sunday stamping tutorial. And if you see any of the products that you would like to purchase from our online shop, uh, head on to our website, which is what is it? Mitusocrafts.com. Mitusocrafts.com. <laughs> Did you forget what our website was? <laughs> no, I thought you were going to say the mitosocrafts.stampingup.net. But either way, it's great. Um, so yes, so if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products from our online shop. It'll be great if you can also share our video. Uh, we'll try and upload this on our YouTube channel which we haven't done so from last week's <laughs> yeah. Facebook Live, but we'll sort that out this week. Yeah, we'll get that sorted. We'll get those upline online, get a blog set up for it as well, so you can see the close-up pictures. Um, please remember to like or follow us if you've not done so already. 
and subscribe to us on YouTube for future updates and future video inspiration. So yes, I think that's it. If any, and obviously if anyone wants to catalogue and you live in any of the um, countries which we just mentioned, we have still we've still got catalogues available. So if you'd like one, let us know, and we're quite happy to pop one in the post to you. In case, send us a private message. Lovely. I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, that is Excellent. It. So, thank you for sticking with us. I know it's been a long one. It's nearly been an hour and a half we've nearly been on again. So, thank you for everyone that has um, stuck with us throughout the whole of it. And thank you to everyone that's hopped on and hopped off and hopped on again or whatever. We appreciate all of you um, sticking with us. So... Thank you very much, um, and we will be back with you on Sunday evening about 7 o'clock in the... Yeah, 7 o'clock. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.